M0FXB. Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you've got your Anytone 878. This is the Mark II uh, APRS received version. And you've got your jumbo spot. And you just want to get it working, but you haven't got a computer. So what you're going to do is just presuming that your jumbo spot has already been preloaded with the image that runs PyStar. You're just going to take out the SD card here, which is just in the side here. Put it into your computer so you can add your broadband details. So let's say your username and password is just user and then password is password. But, you know, you're trying to link it to your broadband at home. So click Submit. You'll get this file and then just click the up arrow, right click, either copy or send it. Um, so it, we've got it there and we're going to right click it and we're going to send it to our adapter will be plugged into the laptop so it will come up like eDrive and just send it into that and then get that SD card and then plug it straight back into your jumbo hotspot and then boot up and once it boots up go back to your browser and type in this uh, lowercase go pi dash star local see it there at the top and then when you select that it will take you to the pi star configuration page now mine's already up and running so, because it's all set up so when you click configure it's going to ask you for the password so just go pi dash star and then raspberry raspberry okay sign in type that in wrong pi star Rasp. There you are. Once you've signed in correctly, just click sign in. And I'll show you what settings to put in in the config. So you want to turn on the DMR here, put in your DMR number here, and your the frequency the same as what we've just what we put in the radio. DMR number and your call sign, of course. And then apply changes. Once the changes have been applied then it will ask you to select the modem here radio modem type so select this one here stm32 dvm mm dvm hs raspberry pi hat gpio so get that in there apply it again it takes a couple of minutes each time for this small jumbo hotspot and then the last bit is on your um brandmeister select 2341 and you're going to need to get your hotspot security in there so go over to brandmeister.network, create yourself an account, and then once you've logged in, I'll log in now, log in here, you need to just click your yourself there and go to self-care, like so, I'll just show you that again there, and then go down, it says self-care, turn on hotspot security and put your password in here. And then save it. And then what you do is in this section, get your password in here where I'm squiggling the, the mouse under BM231. And again, apply changes. M0FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXB. So let's program our radio using the radio. So when you turn these 878s on, this is the uh, Mark II version with the green button. They always boot up in, in dual band, so you, it's a lot easier if you just get it into single band. So what you want to do is just make sure one of these buttons, like if you look at my P2 button, if I hold it down, it turns off the sub-channel, so it's like single receive. So how, did you, how do you program that if it isn't already done? Just go menu, then go down to settings. Uh, let's go to radio set and see that key functions go key functions and then choose your programming button so just do the p go down to p1 when you select and then you can just scroll through and tell it to you know to turn off the sub channel you can also tell it to do vfo and memory for say p1 so that should make things easier anyway go back so as you can see, we're still in dual mode. Then we're going to go to single mode by holding down my P2. That's what I programmed. There you go, single mode. And then I've done it so that I can do um, VFO and memory by just pushing the 
this bottom button here which is the P, one of the PF program buttons you can tell when you're in memory because you get a channel number here to so see it says channel 1147 that's how you can tell you're in you're in memory mode okay so let's and if it's showing you a a name uh, rather than a frequency you can select that as well so if you want to just change you know what it shows just go menu settings go to radio set and then go down i think it's uh display function and look channel name and you can choose to show either the frequency or the channel name so i would select frequency there you go select frequency so you go back 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 so we're still in memory mode we want to get into vfo mode to program a new channel so vfo mode on mine is this one and you can see vfo and my hotspot is I know it says this worldwide thing, but ignore that. My hotspot is four, three, one, and then the last digit is actually five digits, five, five, zero, and then keep going until you've got five digits. Okay, and in a second it will show that that I'm uh, I am on that frequency. There you go. So now we've got the frequency in there. We now just quickly store that into one of our uh, zones. So we'll go menu settings channel set new channel and it by default it finds the the, the next clear channel and here is 1155 because this is like your typical code plug that you get from moonraker martin lynch one of the big suppliers and um, where there's literally a thousand channels so we're going to hit confirm it put put this channel at the bottom of that list confirm and then we're going to name it so let's name it this, this is for my hotspot so we'll just go h uh, p q r s p n m o t and we'll call it hotspot three so to get numbers you just push the hash button and you can select a number and then you can confirm so we've given it a name. Now we want to select where it's going to go. It's automatically gone to our different zones. You might only have one zone, but most of these hotspots, these pre-programmed, um, you know, any tones have got loads of zones in them. So we're going to put it in, in the zone, my hotspots, select, and then confirm to save. So it's now put that channel in, but it hasn't, put in all the settings yet of that channel. So that's the next step. So go back one and go to channel set. So we go, let's just show you all the way, we'll, we'll exit all completely, ignore the uh, APRS. So we go menu, settings, channel set, and then you want to select channel type, go to channel type, and then we're doing a DMR hotspot, so click digital so select that then go back tx power that's obvious so just select the power you want offset it should be set at naught this isn't like a repeater offset so just set that to naught if you want to select it look it'll say naught like that go back bandwidth because it's digital it will be on narrow anyway so don't have to change that Receive frequency, so obviously we're doing a simplex hotspot, so we need to have the receive and transmit the same. So I've done mine 431, that's the correct for my jumbo hotspot. Now you need to look at your jumbo hotspot and just make sure the frequency on this channel and your jumbo hotspot are the same. So that's fine, Go and then transmit. We need to make sure that's the same, so look, that's the same there. You can use the P2 to go back talk around so i just leave that default so it's on off at the moment name not sure what that means so i'll ignore that for now tx allow i always put it on always tx prohibit well, that should be off okay back radio id when you select this it should you should have already put your call sign in the code plug if you haven't put your radio ID in, you need to put it in, and here's M0FXB for me, and then you select, you'll 
you'll see your DMR number. You need that, otherwise it won't work in DMR. Go back. Color code, yeah. Just select one, that's what I always do. Time slot, nearly always select two. So put two. Digi encrypt, just left that as off. Encrypt type, left that. Receive group list, no, I'm not putting it in a group. Work alone mode, no, don't touch that, so that's off. Channel ranging, no, don't touch that, that's off. APRS receive, that should be off. We're not really doing APRS at the moment. SMS forbid, just leave that off. Data track, DMR mode, now you want to do it simplex. There you go. And that's it. So that's the channel all set up now. So with a bit of luck, that should activate our hotspot. We'll go and test it. So what I'll do, I'll select it in the memory now. So I'll go back into memory mode. Push that, we're in memory. And then we've got to find the, the, the hotspot, the zone that was called hot, my hotspot. So I'm going to go menu, um, zone, and then we'll go up to my hotspots. Select zone, that's my hotspot. Now we can turn to the channels that we put in that hotspot. I think it'd be the highest number. Yeah, which I think was 1155. Yeah, was that a higher one there? No, it's 53, so I'm pretty sure it's that. 55, that's the high, that's the last one I did. So let's go and check it out. Yes, I have the Quite an upgrade from the internet, the internet game with. Yes, I plan to do something and I have the monophone coming in. So, yes, maybe I should turn the transmitting power a bit down. So. But thank you for the tip and the 73. So, all the best to you and your family. Stay safe. Uh, this is Oscar Hotel 2 Charlie. So, straight away, I fired up the hotspot and it's working fine. I'm just going to show you the hotspot settings. Okay, so here it is on the on the Pi Star dashboard, working fine. There's the frequency there that we put into the radio. So we're all good to go. Seven three, all the best.